An API, or application programming interface, is just a way for two machines to communicate with each other. In this kind of interaction, we typically see one machine requesting data from another machine. This is known as the client-server model, where we have a user either using a browser or another program to make HTTP requests to retrieve or send some data to a remote server. You watching this video right now are the client who requested our video from YouTube servers. Since the early 2000s, Representational State Transfer, or REST, has become one of the most popular architecture styles for developing your APIs. The rule of thumb for building your REST APIs is to think about your application as a set of resources. If we were building a REST API for a blog, some of the resources would be the blog posts and the comments. We would want the clients of our API to be able to do all the CRUD operations. These are to create a post, read their post, update their post, and if they wanted to, they could also delete their post. These are all important concepts within HTTP. RESTful APIs don't need to use HTTP as their communication protocol, but it just so happens that HTTP works very well with REST. So the majority of REST APIs are built with HTTP as the communication protocol, because it's really easy to translate the four actions we mentioned before with the four most common HTTP verbs. Post for a create operation, get for a read operation, put for an update operation, and delete, well, for a delete operation. Why use REST? REST, instead of SOAP, became popular because it's flexible. It works well for many different types of clients, like mobile clients, browsers, and other servers. Finally, because REST is just an architectural style and can be applied to any kind of application, it also makes our API portable because it can run on any platform that has been optimized to handle HTTP requests or whatever protocol you feel is best. We hope you've got an understanding of what REST is and why people use it. Drop a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Catch you in the next one.